Let me welcome in the man who covered this one, my offensive coordinator, Sean Humphrey. Hey, Sean, Central has been pretty solid all year long, right? Lots of ups and downs, kind of what, what we were expecting, but they look pretty solid. They did look pretty solid, but as DJ Khaled once said, in life you had roadblocks. And that roadblock's name was Gavin Black today, number 18 for the Permian Panthers. Oof. He had 1,000 yards already through his first five games, mm -hmm. and it's his first game of district play or second game of district mm -hmm. play, and dude kept it going. He oh, kept man. it going. As I told you, Gavin Black is ridiculous. Central hosting this rivalry matchup at San Angelo Stadium, and Bruce Banner Jr. got it going early. He's going he's gonna to run down and down and down, and he's pushed out of bounds, but the ball's going to go right back to him. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, and it certainly wasn't broke here. The run to the right, up the gut, through the defense, and he's going to get inside the 20, sidestepping a defender before he's brought down inside the five. And whether you call this one a tango, a cha-cha, a Charleston, or any kind of dance that you do with the stars, this kid's a star, and he's in untouched for the Permian touchdown. San Angelo Central is not going to just lay down. His squeaky English with it, running to his right, and they're going to two-hand touch him. I guess if it were two-hand touch, they would have called him down, but they're going to push him out of bounds after the first down, and the Bobcats are going to going to have to settle for a field goal on that drive there. Permian with it again, a shoestring tackle. Central actually did a good job getting to Black early, except for that first drive. And then later on, it's the quarterback, Jacob Garcia. He's going to throw it out there, and it is a first down toe taps inside the red zone, but it might get a little bit dastardly for him. He's backpedaling, and he'll try to hit his receiver, Williams, in the hands, but it's intercepted by the angry Orange, and it'll go out to the 25, a touchback, and Kasner stribbling out over the middle of the tight end. He's going to chop those feet, chop those feet all the way into the red zone before he's brought down. And Permian is on their back foot here. The angry orange get angrier again. They squeeze out some orange juice. John Paul Nombrano with the punch in touchdown. And it would be a back and forth game. Central had the lead going into the half. But Right now, Permian's up. It's not looking good for Central. It really just looked like the Bobcats ran out of gas late in the game, but it was a good matchup. I wish I could have just sat there with my own popcorn or Chick-fil-A sandwich and just watched the rest of that game, Damian. That, that 18, he, he looks D1. Yeah. I mean, he looked D1. He yeah. was running all over him, especially on that first drive. But if they really kind of kept him in check after that, that's pretty impressive. They, they, uh, what happened with Permian late in the game, they end up running a lot of mm -hmm. options to try to get Gavin Black involved because uh, it, it was tough just handing the ball straight yeah. to him. I'll tell you, man, I went to the 2005 U.S. Army All-American game in San Antonio, and Deshaun Jackson played in that game. Yeah. So I can't say that this is the best player I've seen live, uh -huh. but this is the best player I can remember seeing live. Ah, I, was, I, was, I, I was like three, four years I forgot old. you're a young boy. You're Young pup, little hey, young, hey, little, hey. Yeah, little bro. I remember that little bro. Hey, hey I see you, little hey. bro. Hey, but hey, with that said, Sean, hey, I'm gonna see you again. You I'm gonna see you again. I'm I gonna, hey, it. hey, you better don't don't go anywhere. Go, go don't go anywhere. All right.